Hey, Lauren Hughes here with Integrity Home Group and Keller Williams Preferred in beautiful Colorado. Today, I'm gonna to go on site again to the new construction townhome in North Denver. And I wanted to talk to you a few about a few things. It was actually, it's actually pretty nice today and not too much wind, so you'll be able to hear me a little bit better. Uh, but I did wanna talk about what I'm gonna be looking at. Uh, and right now they are working on the framing, which is very fast. And I'm actually wanna to, want to go see See the integrity of the wood make and just see what kind of wood they're using for the framing and how it looks and what I'm looking for is that the wood well most important is that the woods dry and it seems it's not a big thing in Colorado but I built a house where the wood was not dry and I had a lot of bowing um, and everything from not so much the structure but all like all the windows all the doors it wasn't quite dry so I'm having a lot of issues and we're having to redo a lot of things um, which you don't want to do with a new construction home um, so we're gonna go check out the integrity of the wood I'm sure it's gonna be wonderful and it's dry climate so we don't really have to worry about that I also am gonna be looking at the load-bearing walls and the metal beam that is in my uh, home between the basement level and the first level. And I, I happen to be a fan of the steel beams. Some people don't like them. I, I like them just because I, it gives me more flexibility in my floor plan if I feel the need to break down some walls later. <laughs> uh, I just, I, so I, have, I like to have the least amount of load bearing uh, vertical walls. So if you put a horizontal beam in there, that, that actually makes me happy. So I'm gonna look at that today. And then I'm also going to look at, I'm gonna be able to go into the basement, uh, the concrete's dry, and I wanna go check out the plumbing and look at the integrity of the concrete to make sure that everything looks uniform and it looks nice, nice and consistent, uh, which is what we want to see there. Let's see, and then basically I'm just looking for anything that's glaring and out of place. I don't anticipate ever finding that with this builder. But if anything looks off or, you know, you have a gut feel, you're like, you know what, what is that? That's right now is always a good time to ask, ask them what, you know, what's going on, especially if you're like, you know, it's, uh, and I can't always describe that, but you know, I like going with your gut and it's always, it doesn't tend to steer me wrong, especially like, I don't know all the terms. I don't know everything that you need to do to build. I've just, I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot of expensive mistakes. And so that's where my experience comes from. It's from learning with my own checkbook. And there's a lot that I still don't know about building. And so if, you know, I just like to go with my gut and if something seems off, I, I'll just bring it up to the builder. I'll bring it up to the real estate agent that represents the build, builder um, or, and, uh, it would be good for you to bring it up to your agent who's representing you because that's that's your representation. So enjoy the video uh, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks. All right, Lauren Hughes here again. I'm on site with a new construction build. I wanted to take a minute out. Actually, I came on a day where the workers weren't here so I wouldn't be in anyone's way and so I could show you the property a little bit more and I wanted to take the time out to talk about the framing and the integrity of the wood um, so what you're seeing right here is actually really nice um, nice wood I consider this high quality wood especially over here um, and I wanted to take a time to say why that's important and what you need to watch out for uh, not so much in Colorado because it is a dry climate but you do want to watch out for any type of bowing or anything that looks a little off with the wood and when I say by bowing it's indicative of the wood being wet um, and if wood is not properly dried you're going to have some bending of the wood you're going to have some splitting of the wood you're just going to have a lot of issues I actually have a house that has a lot of issues right now uh, because the wood was not completely dried on the windows and the doors and it's created havoc everywhere so while it might just seem like a quick check or it is a quick check to see the integrity of the wood you can see all this wood here nothing's bowing everything looks pretty good a lot of it's actually treated wood um, and then over here is actually pretty high-end uh, wood over here where you can see the actual framing of the house is being done with um, so I'm really happy with the state of the framing 
they've been framing for just about a week right now and you can see all the progress they've made this is actually the second story um, and so I do expect the framing them to probably put on the second level uh, later in the week which I will show you guys too so thank you for tuning in all right I'm coming back to you from inside the house I'm just checking out uh, the interior the framing that they've done the first level everything looks really nice I'm actually really impressed with the well maybe not all pieces but most of the 95% of the pieces of wood that I'm seeing in all of these townhomes is really nice um, treated wood so I'm very happy with how things are going the site is also relatively clean <laughs> Um, for being a holiday weekend and doing the amount of construction that they're doing. They certainly make quick work of this. All right, Lauren Hughes again. Now I am downstairs in the first level or the basement level. It's kind of a half, half basement, half first level. Um, just to show you around a little bit, I wanted to come look at the plumbing and then the, uh, the load bearing structure um, also wanted to make note of the fire retardant middle wall that uh, is in between all of the townhomes and i'm actually came down here to look at this beam uh, i wanted to see what get a good look at what is actually load bearing um, and then i'm going to double check the plans i didn't recall looking at uh, if the beam went halfway or full uh, full all the way through. So I'm going to go check those plans. I actually like steel beams in my construction projects. Some people don't. I like less load be bearing beams in my house. So I'm all about the, the steel beams. It allows you to go a little bit farther uh, without having the vertical beams. So I'm a big fan of it. Some people don't like it. It's just kind of a personal preference. I like to have as much open as possible. So I'm all for the uh, steel beams. I'm also looking at the plumbing. I keep forgetting that uh, this I'm in a reversed confirmation than the plans. <laughs> so I always have to get my bearings again. This is where the downstairs bathroom and shower will be. Um, and I'm not sure what all of the plumbing is. I'm going to have to go look at my plans again. But everything looks good. The concrete looks good. I like what they've done with it. Everything looks really nice and clean, um, especially being a construction site. I've been happy uh, with the cleanliness of this site, um, to say the least, and um, this concrete looks really nice.